You know, watching this movie, I was actually craving pizza so much. Immediately after the movie, I went to the mall and grabbed the slice of pizza because I was that hungry for pizza. Hey movie buffs, I'm Jack Benner and welcome to my review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem is the newest animated reboot of the Ninja Turtles franchise. In Mutant Mayhems, the Ninja Turtles have been sheltered under the sewers avoiding humans for many years. When a threat of multiple mutant villains are on the rise, the turtles see this as an opportunity for heroism to be accepted by the citizens of New York City. Now I liked the Ninja Turtles growing up, but I wasn't like a huge fan of the Ninja Turtles. I do remember watching a bit of the 2003 cartoon back then, and I've seen the live action movies from the 90s ranging from good, decent, or just awful. And I do remember seeing the 2007 animated TMNT movie, and I remember that being okay. And I didn't like the two live action TMNT movies from the 2010s. Wasn't a fan of the 2014 film, nor Out of the Shadows, which I found to be forgettable. And I feel like those Michael Bay produced Ninja Turtles movies didn't really do those characters justice. So I was curious when I heard we were getting an animated reboot of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But I was also hoping it would be a refreshing change of pace and the right call after the two live action films. What got me interested in this project was Jeff Rowe who wrote and co-directed my favorite animated film of 2021, The Mitchells vs. The Machines. I love that movie from the humor, heart, energy, style, and characters. And that gave me hope that maybe this new Ninja Turtles animated movie was in good hands. And plus you got Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg in the writing team for this movie. And when the trailers released, I really liked them. Especially from the animation style, I just thought, okay, they're doing the Spider-Verse animation style for Ninja Turtles. Let's see what they do with this. And the trailers did indicate it was going to be an improvement over the two live action movies. And maybe there is a possibility this could be the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. I was looking forward to Mutant Mayhem. It's one of my most anticipated animated movies of the year. I am happy to confirm I had a blast with Mutant Mayhem. And it's definitely the best Ninja Turtles movie. Let's start this review with the pros. First thing to praise is the terrific animation style. Watching the trailers, it's definitely easy to compare the animation style to Spider-Verse films because both Spider-Verse movies were definitely game changers in the animation industry and taking it to the next level. So it's really interesting nowadays to see other animated movies do this type of style. They're like Mitchell's vs. the Machines, Bad Guys, Puss in Boots 2. And now watching this movie, it was absolutely the right choice to aim for a sketchbook animation style. Just from the squiggly lines, effects, and other features that really make this animation pop. However, I don't really view it as jumping on the bandwagon of the Spider-Verse films, but rather feeling distinct from other Ninja Turtles movies. It's all colorful, detailed, vibrant, and beautiful to look at. Plus also feeling appropriate for the vibe and tone of the film. And that terrific animation really lends to the great and well executed action scenes. They're fast paced, energetic, and frenetic. An excellent job showing the turtles ninja skills. And in their first fight scene they do bumble at first, but later do show their ninja skills and how skilled they are. And another funny exciting chase scene with a great music choice that I loved. And another thing to give credit to to which actually surprised me that the musical score was done by both Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. And I love their work in David Fincher movies like The Social Network, one of my favorite film scores of all time. And they're doing excellent work for another animated film after their Oscar winning work in Soul. It's fantastic to see these two doing excellent work in both animated movies and David Fincher films they collaborated in. And another excellent aspect about Mute Mayhem was the character work and the great voice cast to go along with that. And now having seen the movie, I'd say this is my favorite incarnation of the Ninja Turtles. This would be the Ninja Turtles movie where I both bought them as brothers and teenagers. And from their dynamic and camaraderie and brotherhood. And it definitely helps casting teenagers in the role and not just casting like 20 year olds and pretending that they're teenagers. I do think that was the right call given how the turtles act and say in this movie would be things that teenagers would do or say. Whether it's them fooling around like in one scene where they're just recording videos of them with their ninja weapons and watermelons. Or just throwing out pop culture references which luckily I didn't find too great. Rating. And not only the turtles I loved here, but also this incarnation of April O'Neil. Just from the great dynamic between her and the turtles, with them being social outcasts. 
And I do like that this version of April, with her being an aspiring journalist, but her social anxiety is always preventing her. And one standout of the supporting cast would definitely be Jackie Chan as Splinter. I mean, come on, that's perfect casting right there. Jackie Chan does a terrific job, and he does have his funny moments, but he also does have an understandable backstory with his dislike towards humans, despite being an overprotective parent. And the main villain here is Ice Cube, who voices Superfly. And I found Ice Cube to be great in this movie. He was very funny and entertaining. And I do like how Superfly starts off to be a laid-back villain they meet at first, with the turtles meeting other mutants. But later, when they find out what Superfly's evil plan is towards humans, Cube starts to become more menacing in the role. And I do like the parallel between Superfly and Splinter, Although the one difference he being Superfly wants to take his evil plan very far. You know, the rest of the villains here, Seth Rogen and John Cena voicing Bebop and Rocksteady. Paul Rudd is one of them, Rose Byrne, Post Malone. The voice cast all does a very good job without a single weak link. And what I especially loved about Mune Mayhem was the emotional core. There is a lot of heart in this movie. And one reason why I believe this is the best Ninja Turtles movie. This movie does focus a lot on fatherhood and acceptance. This movie does a fantastic job at making you sympathize with the turtles and their need for acceptance. Now they've been sheltered under the sewers. And with the amount of times they interacted with April Neal, they're thinking maybe humans aren't as bad as Splinter says they are. And with the characters in this movie, I really like that you understand their motivations. You understand why the turtles want to be accepted. And you also understand why both Superfly and Splinter don't like humans. And Splinter does have a great character arc as well that I found satisfying. Sadly, I do have a few flaws with this movie. I will get to those right now. First minor issue, I did find the story to be a bit predictable at times. I didn't have a feeling where the story was going. And second, there were a few supporting villains that I found to be a bit sidelined and underused. Like Bebop and Rocksteady didn't really get that much to do. Mondo Gecko, voiced by Paul Rudd, didn't really do much in this movie. In conclusion, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem is a blast and hands down the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. From the terrific and distinct animation style, humor, action, character development, and heart all together make this movie such an entertaining time. If you've been a long time Ninja Turtles fan, definitely go see this movie. I think it's the best Ninja Turtles movie. And there is definitely something you enjoy for kids and adults who want to go see this movie. Or even if you're a non-fan or if don't have a lot of nostalgia towards the Ninja Turtles, I think you should go see this movie. And I definitely believe there's something to get a kick out of in this movie. With this and the Mitchells vs. the Machines, I definitely think Jeff Rowe has proven to be a terrific animation director. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he does next. And now to grade it, I'm going to give Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem 4.5 stars out of 5, an A-. minus. This would be my second favorite animated film I've seen this year behind Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And it's also one of my favorite films I have seen this summer. And I heard they are planning on greenlighting a sequel to this movie. And if we do get a sequel with the same creative team. And also there is a mid credit scene in this movie. So definitely stay for that for what they're teasing. Not going to spoil it. I had a feeling of what they would tease and I was right. But if we do get that sequel, I'm excited for it. And despite Barbie dominating the box office and heard it made a billion dollars worldwide. So congrats Barbie. But I really hope with the good word of mouth it can really help with this movie at the box office and become a hit. And do I think this film should get an Oscar nomination for best animated film? I'd say yes. And I'm hoping this movie does well at the box office and a critical praise. I believe it is deserving of a nomination for best animated film. So I'd like to hear from you guys. What do you think of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem? Have you seen it? Do you agree? Disagree with my review? Or if you haven't seen it, are you looking forward to film or not? Let me know down below. Did you enjoy hearing my thoughts on this movie and want to see more reviews like this in the future? If yes, please hit that like and subscribe button if you're new here. And don't forget that notification bell for my next upload in the future. It really means a lot. And until the next video, I'm Jack Benner and look forward to another move review.